Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're going to take a look at problems with the numeral lock key. You know it as the num lock on your keyboard or number lock maybe. I somehow always called it number lock. It's not working. doesn't start when your computer starts. There's a couple of known fixes for it. Let's take a look. Each one has a bit of a twist with it, but we'll walk you through it step by step with this guide here in the background so that you can follow along in the video or on the page so let's get to power and sleep settings in your control panel or the windows key plus s and type in power when you get here go to additional power settings next choose what the power buttons do right here and you can see everything is grayed out so to shut to turn fast start up off we need to click right here where it says change settings that are currently unavailable. Once you do that, it will light up. Now, what you may see is something like this. You may see sleep and lock, but you don't see hibernate or fast startup, as you can see in this picture right here. That's because somehow hibernate was disabled, so let's enable it. We can do pretty much anybody, any operating system can press Windows key plus S and type in C. M D and either click here to run as administrator or right click and run as administrator. I'm on Windows 10 for this so what I'm going to do is the Windows key plus X and that brings up Windows PowerShell as admin with a much simpler way to get to it in my opinion. So again this is only if you don't see hibernate and turn on fast startup. So come on down here you can either copy and paste this, right click copy, and control V to paste it, or type it in if you're feeling like you can do it. I make a lot of mistakes. Here we go. So as you can see, we want to do that, and then you just want to press enter, and absolutely nothing will appear to tell you it worked, it didn't work, it just works. Now, sidebar, I've had a few problems with this over time. <laughs> it's like the 18th run on this video because the stupid thing wouldn't work right so you might want to reboot if it doesn't show up because what you do now is you would close this back out and go backwards to try and get everything working so back it out and see if you see it by repeating those steps there you go so now what you want to do is uncheck turn on fast startup Reboot your computer and see if your problem is solved. If not, lucky you, we're going to the registry. Windows key plus R. RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Press Enter or OK. I will press OK because it looks better in a video. Yep. All right. Now, keep in note that we're actually going to shoot for a key that we're going to modify, and there's a couple of twists here. Do not search for this key. It's in a couple of places. You could change the wrong one and nothing will change. Copy and paste this exactly the way you see it. Complete with, it's in bold. Come up here, right up here, clear out the word computer. Control V, enter. And we're looking for this key right here. Initial keyboard indicators. A couple twists here. Most of you should be able to right click and hit modify. Change the value to 2. If you've ever played with a registry before, you probably haven't run into a lot of real long numbers like that, so it might throw you off. It's all right, change it to 2. Now let's talk about twists and turns. You might see on Hewitt Packard and some of the other computers, you might see this number. You notice this says 48. It's only off by the last two digits, so you might actually see this. If you do, we actually want to try this number. So if you've got a Hewitt Packard computer, give that a shot if the two didn't work. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm almost questioning myself. So let's take a quick look. Right click modify, change that to two. Click OK, reboot and see if your problem is fixed. Once again, you come back, it doesn't work, and you already tried the fast startup. Change that to 50. Once again, 213. So the only difference here is the 50 on the end. So depending on how you want to do it, you could modify and just come in and change that to 50. So it's kind of a weird one. Most of you should get away with just a number two. So sorry to 
confuse you if I am. I really hope I did. Most of you will be too, but there's a lot of computers out there, Hewlett Packards and different brand names. That's a majority of computers out there. And you may run into it not working. Just try it again. If all else fails on that, you can always change it back to what it was if that didn't work or restore your registry. I don't, you know, just so you know what you're doing and make sure you find the problem. And those are the two that we know about. So once again, this page will be linked to in the video description so that you can jump to it if I went too fast for you or it's quite a bit to do or if you got you know you weren't clear on these numbers you can just follow the link and here it is in text for you to read so there you go guys thanks as always for watching click like subscribe down here in the corner see you next time